unbelievable what happened last night. I'm going to get you to react, but let me just play Joe Biden's comments and what he said right after she spoke. Donald Trump has no character. He doesn't give a damn about the Latino community. He's failed businessman. He's, he only cares about the billionaire friends he has and accumulated wealth for those at the top. No, he says immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. Give me a break. He wants to do away with the birthright citizenship. Who the hell has said that in the last hundred years? And just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. Well, let me tell you something. I don't, I, I don't know the Puerto Rican that, that I know, or Puerto Rico where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of scene is unconscionable, and it's un-American. It's totally contrary to everything we've done. Charlie Kirk, thoughts? Well, first of all, isn't it uh, great to be here, Megan? Thank you. Um, isn't it fitting that the man that they hid from us for three years for obviously having mental decline is just redeployed a week out from the election during Kamala's speech, by the way, and completely under I could not tell you really anything she said other than Trump bad, unify the country, all the headlines trending on Twitter, 1.2 million tweets, just everybody talking about the fact the current president of the United States calls half the country, myself included, garbage. So let, let's break this down. And I mean this sincerely. Has there ever been an instance in American history where a sitting president openly calls half the country that he is tasked to govern trash, garbage, worthy of discarding? Has that ever happened in American history? Ever. And if somebody has an example, I, I, I would love to see that example. I don't even think during the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln called the Confederacy that. I mean, I do not even think during the American Civil War, Abraham Lincoln called the people the Confederacy garbage. In fact, I think Abraham Lincoln said, these are still our fellow citizens and brother against brother, and it's a tragedy we're fighting them. And so I, 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 we've never seen this language ever in American history. I'd love a historian to dig that up if, if it's happened before. It's number one. Number two, which is that uh, this, this, is the, this is what they deserve. They deserve that this man that they force fed us as president of the United States four years ago in that ridiculous election of 2020 when he was in the basement and there was mail-in ballots everywhere that were not being checked and there was $400 million Mark Zuckerberg. They deserve the guy that they forced on the American people to all of a sudden mm -hmm. come back a week out from the election. And, and there's so many other points to kind of go through here, but this is not a gaffe. This is a stated policy position. They do think that we're garbage. They, 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 not, not just from their rhetoric, but from how they treat us. Look at how they treated the hurricane victims. I'm in North Carolina right now. How they treated the hurricane victims in North Carolina versus foreigners. You treat garbage that way. Look at how that they are trying to import another 10 million people and destroy the purchasing power of our dollar. You treat garbage that way. And Joe Biden did not say something by mistake. He was caught saying something that he meant that he wished he would not have said. And that's a very important distinction. And so this now takes all the headlines in a way that only you could explain that either God or luck or something. I think it has to be God as on Trump's side because the news cycle was just annoying after MSG, Megan. We were talking about yeah. this comedian's joke, and it was all about garbage. And now it's completely in the opposite direction. Joe Biden took what was an annoying 48 hours news cycle after Trump had basically unbroken momentum from McDonald's and Rogan and all of his great campaigning to kind of, okay, we got to now cover for some comedian. And that is another point I want to make just very quickly. The media freaked out about a comedian not running for office saying an off-color joke. I didn't like the joke. You didn't like the joke. I thought it was the wrong time or place or manner for that. This guy's a sitting president of the United States and is running the country, allegedly, and is the mentor and the boss of the person running for the job. And the media, has, and their coverage was like, well, um, Joe Biden appears to attack Donald Trump supporters as garbage or uh, right wingers get very upset about Joe Biden's comments about them as garbage. So this this is now the closing argument. This is worse than deplorables. And I think this is going to do nothing but motivate um, people that might not have voted to go out and vote because the current administration hates you. They think you're worthy of discarding. They believe you're garbage. Here's what's so amazing about it. It's a direct parallel. They just spent two days trying to tell us it is deeply offensive and wrong and an outrage and a votable issue 
to have somebody on one person's side call a group garbage. And in and the, their case, the case they were making was about a comedian who was at MSG I, hours before Trump took no the seat. no real attachment. Yes, but exactly. That, yes. So they spent two days telling us if somebody affiliated with the other side calls a group of people garbage, that could be a single issue for you when you go into that ballot box. You must vote against that person. That's absolutely deeply offensive, racist, terrible, beyond the pale. And then what happens? Not some comedian who's warming up four hours before Kamala Harris gets out there. The sitting president of the United States, who's been her partner in all policy, from whom she sees no differences for the past four years, as she said repeatedly now over the past couple of weeks, gets out there and says, Trump supporters are the only garbage I see. And the media has absolutely no room to run there's no way of squaring those two positions. They they must say this is deeply wrong and you cannot support a ticket that would have that kind of mentality about the American people. And yet they are in the Cirque du Soleil contortions to try to get away from it. We've got to talk about the apostrophe, right? Oh, no, no, I, I was going to go there. No, the apostrophe is one of the greatest wrinkles of this whole story, Megan. No, but please it's continue. Amazing. It is. It re- so you really get, is. you get John, as near as I can tell, Jonathan Lemire is the first person to get the apostrophe. He is a complete hack, partisan, pathetic excuse for a quote journalist. He works for Politico and he also is part of the MSNBC morning show, the show that precedes Morning Joe, but now he's being elevated to Morning Joe because his kind of hackery will get you a full-time role on that show. And he reaches out to his sources at the White House about this comment that we all watched Joe Biden make. He made it around six in the evening, but it didn't start circulating till later. And he gets the White House transcript, the official transcript of Biden's remarks calling Trump supporters garbage. And he he goes with it. He says this White House version of the transcript proves that the Biden quote is, quote, being taken out of tra- uh, out of context. <laughs> and the transcript reads, the only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. But it adds an apostrophe between the R and the S of supporters as if it's possessive. Like his supporter issued garbage like out of his mouth. And that's all I see. That is clearly not what Joe Biden said. And if you hear the cadence of the way he delivered it, that makes it clear. We should go back and listen to it again. Let's listen to it one more time. Donald Trump has no character. He doesn't give a damn about the Latino community. He's failed businessman. He's, he only cares about the billionaire friends he has and accumulating wealth for those at the top. No, he says immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. Give me a break. He wants to do away with the birthright citizenship. Who the hell has said that in the last hundred years? And just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. Well, let me tell you something. I don't, I, I don't know the Puerto Rican that, that I know, or Puerto Rico where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, <coughs> his, his demonization of Latinos is unconscionable, and it's un-American. It's totally contrary to everything we've done. And then just putting a period at the end of that, Charlie. So Lemire sells his soul and doesn't even pretend to be a real journalist. And then ultimately, because this blew up online, Biden puts out a statement that said, that reads as follows. It's an ex post. Of course, Jonathan Lemire shared it uh, from Biden. Earlier today, I referred to the hateful rhetoric about Puerto Rico spewed by Trump's supporter at MSG as garbage, which is the only word I can think of to describe it. Okay, so he's trying to say, I was referring to that guy's hateful rhetoric. That's what I was calling garbage. Then he says, his demonization of Latinos is unconscionable. That's all I meant to say, which is different than that's all I said in here is an implicit admission that he said exactly what we heard him mm-hmm. say. And what's remarkable today is, Charlie, the AP, the, m- many other like normal news sources or you know, left-leaning, Axios, um, CNN, are not going along with Lemire's and Politico's spin. They're, they're actually admitting they heard what we heard. 
Yeah, I mean, we're half there. I have some of these headlines. Again, these people, they can't bring themselves to ever reporting the truth. I mean, let me just read some of these headlines. White House and Trump campaign clash over whether Biden called Trump supporters garbage. Okay, Okay. I mean, we're almost there, right? I mean, is that really the essence of the story of the Washington Post? (laughs) Okay, CBS News, uh, which is by, like, their entire team, Ed O'Keefe, Wajah Jian, Olivia Rinaldi. Supporters or supporters apostrophe. Biden comments about Trump garbage rally anger the GOP. Do you see, this is what they do, if I have to say, if there's ever an injustice, they say right-wingers pounce, conservatives upset, as if we're like being some sort of unreasonable cohort. And then if we do something against them, or if there's some comedian, they say outrageous, racist, vile rhetoric spewed. Of course, I mean, that, that, that is the playbook. AP, Biden suggests Trump supporters are garbage after comics insult to Puerto Rico. So they just have to add that in there, yeah, right? They have to just of course. make sure that's, that's, in, <coughs> that's in the headline. So look, the, the, the possessive thing is amazing. I, w- I would have loved to have been in the White House comms room and the Kamala <laughs> Harris campaign where they're trying to figure out how to spin this one. So they probably watched the tape and they're like, oh my gosh, we should have kept him in the basement, which is just a whole other amazing wrinkle, right? I mean, who he- is there some sort of quiet pro-Trump part of this? Again, I don't want to get too conspiratorial, but this guy was not doing as many interviews. He was not doing this many interviews four years ago. I mean, he was a spring chicken four years ago. And he's completely not needed right now. And he's doing some Zoom call for Latinos concurrently while there is this like major closing argument just feet away from the White House at the Ellipse. And someone decides to go put you on some Voto Latino Zoom call where you're going to give off-the-cuff <laughs> remarks about something that is helping your narrative. I, I just... It's, it's a little bit too suspicious for me. Um, and so, so the, the, the other part is that the White House comms room with the Kamala Harris, they're like, okay, well, okay, Joe said that, um, well, we can't say that he was, okay, how about if we add an apostrophe? Because MAGA is known to litter. That MAGA is really known <laughs> to make the streets <laughs> dirty. That it, it's their garbage. That, that if you go into MAGA neighborhoods, they're, they're filthy. I mean, it's just... It's so repulsive, and it's here's no, what it's Charlie, doing be, be, On that front, somebody on Twitter put out like all the the Harris uh, Biden brain trust sitting around thinking, "What's the solution? What's the solution?" And then somebody, if you can see, somebody does this. <laughs> it's just a picture of an apostrophe. I'm by George. Exactly. I've got it. If you're feeling tired of the same old coffee from the big mega corporations pushing their woke agendas, listen up. It's time to take a stand and to support a brand that truly embodies American values. Blackout Coffee. They stand with hardworking Americans who believe in family, faith, and freedom. And they roast some of the most incredible coffee you will ever taste using only premium grade beans, roasted and shipped to you within 48 hours. And for the cold brew fans, Blackout Coffee is excited to announce the launch of their two new ready to drink cold brew coffee latte options. Don't settle for less. Make the switch to Blackout Coffee. Head over to blackoutcoffee.com slash MK or use the code MK for 20% off your first order. That's blackoutcoffee.com slash MK. The code is MK. Join the movement. Taste the difference. Remember, with every sip, you are supporting a brand that stands for America. Be awake, not woke. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.